And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Osaka at the Edian Arena in Osaka. In the red corner, Koya Urabe is taking on in the blue, Yuto Shinohara. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's get into this. We see Koya being the slightly shorter man by three centimeters, but the older man by eight years. So we're going to see how that plays here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Urabe, too, just with a wealth of experience, um, nearly 60 fights, um, you know, even more than that, being you know, a former champion in two different divisions. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's a veteran at the age of 30. <laughs> well, a lot of people are thinking now this is, his, uh, this is his comeback, but they think he's washed up and he's been inactive for the last 14 months and in that time he's been a busy boy he's opened a gym he's got married had a child yep, yep he's bringing all of that into the ring with him tonight let's see how he uh, how he responds yeah he's so skilled and so sharp i definitely wouldn't count him out although a layoff like that is tough to come back from absolutely but looking at his midriff looking at his body doesn't look like he's been out of the gym for too long looks like he's kept active and no yeah, well you can just see from the speed of that uh, right lead kick there and the left middle kick, he is moving fast and looking sharp. Oh, he's got a beautiful southpaw stance. And I think uh, Shinohara needs to start using that left hook a little bit to try and, uh, to try and put that southpaw on the back foot. Yeah, uh, Kuya just looks so fast and sharp with his kicks. His punches and his kicks flow so smoothly. Smoothly, um, Shinohara would be well served to use that little bit of height advantage and uh, keep some range. Absolutely. Force Koya to take that extra big, big step in or overcommit just a little bit. And uh, yeah, try to catch him coming in. And I always say it when I watch these, you know, orthodox versus southpaw matchups from the open stance here. They are just rough, man. Because it is your power <laughs> hand, his power <laughs> hand, your power kick, their power kick. You can win, but you're never going to get out of there unscathed, or it's very unlikely. Definitely. You're going to eat leather at some point in that night. But if you look through the records, I mean, combined, they've got 62 wins. But mm. in that, they've only got 19 knockouts. So, you know, I'm expecting a, a long night here. Yeah, whoop. Ooh, mm. in a bad up. position there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not good. Got to keep that posture up. He's clearly got a nice little rhythm there. He's just, uh, but he's, he's he's backing back too straight. Oh, mm. nice one too there, though. Very That's nice. But he's got to get out of that corner. He's got to get out of that corner. There it is. Pivot out. Beautiful. Yep. When he's when he's got some room and he's moving, he's got some nice light footwork. He's just going down to the body there and just getting his head out of dodge. Mm. And then you see a clear Urabe just doing a great job. Um, transitioning from the jab to the middle kick seamlessly. And he does that so well. Shinohara has chucked that left hook twice now, so he's beginning to think about trying to come over uh, Urabe's lead hand. Yeah, there was a nice move, getting in and then leaving on an, on an angle. There it is again, that left. Oh, but he responds with a, with a kick. Well, that may be the battle. Um, you know, one way to counter the left mid kick on the southpaw is fading out and doing the check hook you know, with the lead hand of the orthodox fighter. So maybe that'll be those two vying for that position. Absolutely. It's certainly what I would do with the first ball. It always looks like he's a lead hook just to unbalance and open a man up. But the kicks bring in a whole different aspect. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, even it, not looking like he's just had a 14-month layoff <laughs> with child, a gym, a I, wife. I bet money that child is seriously well disciplined and behaved. There's no <laughs> late nights, you know, feed on time, no stress. He looks, he looks well rested. Yeah, no, real sharp. And, uh, you know, Shinohara too, doing some things that you don't see so much in kickboxing, you know, the, the arm down, the low guard, the leaning and lunging into that right hand, but sometimes these things that aren't necessarily textbook work really well and they throw people off and maybe he can make that work for him here. Absolutely, I mean, you've, you've got three, four rounds maximum. The pace is seriously hard, but look at that left no! eye on Shinohara, just blinking a bit there, maybe a bit of damage there. Mm, could be. Here we go, a bit of a slower start here, just feeling out with the, uh, 
the feather feathering jabs. Okay, check that case. Yes. Oh, yeah, great Urabe step in. Target. So fast with the one two. Three. That just looks like the Urabe of old. Four. Absolutely. Six. That that layoff Seven. obviously hasn't done him any harm. From something to 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 bigger. No end. Uh, Urabe is as hardened of a warrior as they come. He's even fought his own brother. Really? In K1. Oh, yeah. oh my word. <laughs> How did that go? Uh, well, it go well. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the, uh, the uh, Christmas dinner table must have been yeah, quite that yeah. year. I'm not sure what their relationship is like now, but uh, yeah, if you can fight your own brother in there, man, fighting someone uh, outside your bloodline is no issue. Absolutely. Wow, just that left kick. I love that thing. It's so sharp. Different to the tie kick, um, not as rotated, not so much up on the ball of the foot, just turning the hip over and snapping it, but it's a great way to kick to feed into your punches. Absolutely. Shinohara is not looking stable here. I don't think he's quite shook off that shot. Yeah, he's, he's having trouble finding something for himself to really, to really find a home for him. He's got to worry if he throws the right, that left kick comes right underneath. Absolutely. That's he no throws protection. the left two looping. Oh, he'll come right in with the one two. Here we go again. What is pushing Shinohara up at this point? I mean, he just seems to be made of rubber. Great body shot there with that Shinohara. And even going on the front foot now, look. Yeah, now things are really heating up in there. And, and really, when, when he puts the pressure on like that, Rabi was on his back foot. He was, he was, it looked like he was a bit out of his element, so maybe Shinohara just needs to go a little more beast mode here. Absolutely. It's like the Wilder. Fury, the, f the first fight, the 12th round, when Fury put him on the back foot, he saw something. And I just think we saw it there. Yep, exactly. Sometimes you have to berserk a little bit um, and get that piece of information from your opponent. Oh, man, look at this. A lot more confident now. He's looking more stable, but he's, um, he's leaving himself look. open after man, shots. It's back to Rabe's rhythm here. Yeah. He's got to stay off. Shinohara has got to stay off those ropes. You know, he's tossing the feet in that jab, but I can, I can tell you, I'm sure there is a left kick locked and loaded ready to go. Absolutely. He's not, Shinohara is not chucking that jab with authority. It's almost like he's doing it to distract Tarabo from hitting him harder. Yeah. You know, it's like survival mode. You know, he's done well, and really the best shot that Shinohara has been throwing is off of that quick left hook, stepping to the side and throwing the right down to the body, the looping right. But uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, it's just not is visible to the judges and not quite as impactful. It kind of happens as he moves in, so not great for scoring. No, you're not going to see it clearly. But I think the left hook is the key for Shinohara to get back into this, but he's not moving with his lateral movement enough to really make it effective. You know, those sharp body kicks and leg kicks from Urabe, they shut that movement down. They, they, can, they corral and make Shinohara move in one direction away from the power. And, um, you know, that's just the experience Fighter in the red there. Look at him, he's looking very composed in that corner. Here we go. See this again in replay. Down the pipe. It's clean. Mm. The Beautiful. hands were good and the step was so smooth. Yep, launching off the back foot. Ba boom! You gotta wonder what Shinohar was doing with his lead hand at that point. I mean, there was nothing on that attempt for the left hook. Yeah, he's kind of hey, hey, hey. Fishing it out there, maybe trying to make a smoke screen or something when he needs to be biting with it a little bit more. Snapping that jab, putting it in Urabe's face. Absolutely. He's got that little bit of height in there. It's weird, you know, that southpaw orthodox, that jab becomes like that crossed sword situation. It really does. And some, some guys throw it better, and usually it's the southpaw. Absolutely. Wow! Great timing, just as we speak. Look at that. Bouncing like a cobra. I wouldn't even say he got overly complacent. It was no. just an opening and boom. Boy, shot Shinohara down drop. stepped right in, yeah. And that's to the point, put him on the back foot. Yep. But here we go. That might have been what he was looking for. That was a great little a one two right down the middle. The Rob is back up, he's busy, he's mm -hmm. looking to to get over that, put it behind him. Mm. I mean he was up fast. I mean he's smiling. Sure. He got clipped. Yeah, he's got to be careful here not to get too overzealous. There's a party that wants to go tit for tap, but sometimes you've got to be a bit more patient and do your game plan, not let the emotions take control. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. 
Okay, well he's very tight with his guard now. Look at the way he's brought it up high and it's very close at front. Maybe he's uh, had his wake up call. Mm. Oh, yep. The left, the left is starting to hurt his body. He felt that one and the timing's good. And obviously the left kick's landing clean. Ooh, again. The arm too. He's marking up. He's marking up. Look at his left eye of uh, Shinohara. Yeah. He's marking up you now. You can see the way he's hanging his right arm. He hasn't been checking the kick. His arm is swollen and red. The elbow will be sore. It won't move like he wants. Ooh, it's he's taken away all that, um, all the ability of that right arm. Oh, that was a heavy kick. He's got Shinohara really hurt now, but he comes back to the right of his own. Yeah. And these two are now fighting in a in another dimension. Oh man, what a battle right here. Shinohara hanging in there just when you think it's all said and done, man. He's just holding on by the skin of his teeth. It's literally what he's doing. I mean, look, he, he's made of rubber here. He yeah. just seems to be somehow absorbing just enough yeah. and coming back with just enough. Yeah, oh, oh the body. Kicks. The body is hurt. How is he standing up at this Ooh. point? Another one. We're thinking that, but surely Urabe is thinking that as well. <laughs> what in the heck? Uh, Shinohara's corner just not going to question it, not going to ask. He's going to hope it, it remains that way. Ooh, he's got 30 seconds, and his body is rocked and rolled, but he's still hanging in Ooh. there. Ooh. Changing it up a little bit, searching the toolbox and finding that. Slowed it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, anything to buy himself a few seconds. Well, breathing's got to be an issue at this point. Look, he's chucking lever down there as well as kicks. He's really targeting that side of the body. He's reddening up here. Ooh, he's, just, he's just got to survive. Urabe just knows the body's hurt. Oh, he's unstable, he's on the ropes, he's far too static. Man, that takes some mental fortitude to just hang in there. Uh, to be so injured, it'd be so obvious. Wow. Yeah, that's heart. That is heart. If ever you wanted a clear-cut definition of heart, open the dictionary, it should just say Shinohara. Whoosh. And that shot there was as clean as his hairdo, man. As far as I'm concerned, Arabe is ahead here, but that flash yes. knockdown could have held it in contention. Yeah, I feel for, like for some people, I I feel exactly the same. You know, it's, it's you never know. I feel like Arabe's up, but boy, that was some beautiful slip of the jab, bam, and then right back with the right hand from Shinohara in that round. I mean, when you get hit with shots, you've got to try to not telegraph your pain. You've got to try and hide that from your opponent. I've got to say, uh, Shinohara has completely te telegraphed it. Mm. Uh, and it's not good for the judges. Yeah, late Lady Gaga would be upset. Where's that poker face? Judge <laughs> Toyonaga. <laughs> Oh, I did not expect that. Nope, yep, we've got a majority draw. Yep, so they're doing, they're going to do one more. Yep, I was not expecting that myself. No, I guess that knockdown did hold it in potential for some people. Yep. Um, not for me, but here we go again. I'll get to see more of the same. Right? That's right, yeah, I'm sure, you know, and, and when you're, you think you're up and you have to do this again, this is a tough spot. I'm sure Urabe was feeling real strong there, like he'd done enough to clinch it, and now he's got to go back out there and do one more. But at least he knows Shinohara uh, where he's hurt. Absolutely. Koya got complacent when he came out and got caught with a flash knockdown. Even though he feels he's, uh, he's clearly ahead here, or the favorite, or the better condition going into this round, he won't make the same mistake. Yeah, yeah. He needs to not do that for sure. Yeah, one down in this round either way, and uh, very clear, yeah. I'm expecting him to come straight out and target the right side of that body, and just be slow, composed, and coast it through. Shinohara being a 75 kilo cross champ, I mean, he's come down to the catch weight of 70, 63.5. Can't imagine that dehydrating and having too much of an issue. What do you think? No, no, I think he looks real good here. I mean, his movement is still real good. Um, He's just in there against one of the best that, you know, uh, that K1 has. I'm beginning to feel that just through the screen. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling that. I mean, really, Koya can just flick the jab and throw the kick, and that is all he needs to do this round. 
so hot looking, remarkably recovered. His right elbow is toast. Yeah, his left eye too. I mean, he has endured so much mm. and I think mm. he knows it's on him to make up the difference here. And he's, he's meeting the challenge. Oh. He's eating some. Wow. A bit of head movement finally, fantastic. I'd like to have seen that a bit earlier. You know what, he's, he's just tough as nails. Um, just, yeah, it's just taking too long for him to find the real rhythm that he needed to have throughout the whole fight. Absolutely, I think Troy is living up to his name of the untouchable here and he's doing his best not to get touched. He's being very cool, composed, keeping a nice high guard. Look oh, at that jab, beautiful. just favoring it, setting up Touch, kick. touch, pull, touch, mid kick. Touch, touch, pull, touch, mid kick. Yeah, yeah, man. Look over here and then boom. Look, wait. The moment Shinohara starts responding, you can just see Arabo taking mm. the back foot, high guard, mm. just wants to do enough. He's not wasting his energy, but he's so devastating with that left middle kick. It's just tearing Shinohara to shreds, man. You've got to be asking yourself what his ribs are saying to his central nervous yeah. system. It yeah. can't be anything good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, feeling it all the way to the liver. It's, it's <laughs> crazy that he's still standing. Absolutely, those liver shots, you know, the liver takes impact, all the toxins spew out into the bloodstream, slows you down. Uh. For him to be still bouncing on his toes at this point, it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, Rambis, he's walking him down too. He's just, he's taking the round. He doesn't have to do too much here, but it's, this is, this is just a, a great rhythm for him. Shinohara, you know, I think his arm is so injured right now. Um, he still hasn't found his go-to weapon in this fight. Absolutely not. I think Shinohara, I think she'll be happy making it through this fight. If be completely honest. He has taken some devastating shots. Yeah. Had huge impact. He should be just so proud of staying on his feet. Oh, yeah, man. Again. Oh. Well, and it's not like the damage to his body has gone away. He's just bearing down on it. That doesn't go away in the, a matter of minutes. That sticks with you. Absolutely. He's, He's hanging in there. I think youth right now is his, is his uh, ace in the hole. I mean, yeah. if he was 30 taking those shots, it'd be a different, different yeah. story. Really, anyway, the moments where he has his head, head movement working for him, he's so good with his counters, but they're just, the thing oh, is, yeah. you know, Koya throws a few jabs, but then the middle kick comes. If you're moving your head, it shuts that, you can't move your head around a no, you can't. kick to the body. You know, unfortunately, your body doesn't move like your head does. Yep. And it's a shame though, I mean, I think he's got to look back at the tape and, and see the head movement was working for him and look to utilize that more in the future. Yeah, some great exchanges and really um, the round where Urabe was just the most relaxed and just doing his thing, it was his best round. Jab, kick, jab, jab, kick. Absolutely. Just the most basic, steady rhythm he could, he could hold. You've got an experienced man in front of you who's fresh, who's fresh. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, he, he did not look like uh, someone who hasn't been in the ring for over a year. No, no signs of rush or uh, washed up. I thought it should have been like that round three at the end, but it just seems the judges want one more. Yeah, they wanted one more. And, and Shinohara too, you know, he's, he's in there against Arabe, so if, if he'd been in there against anyone else, he's looking really good right now. Um, he's moving well, the head movement's there, could be there a little bit more, but it just goes to show how good Arabe is. Absolutely, at 22, he can only learn from his experience. Yes. And, um, and I think there's a lot to see in that, but he should be proud of himself. There's not many people that can withstand those kicks. Yeah, yeah, no, no, nobody's gonna put <laughs> you in the hurt locker like that, man. My gosh, there was venom going through his shins. Wow. Yeah, it's gotta be a great moment for him too. You know, this he's he's taking care of the things, the wife, the baby, the gym, the white picket fence. And now, you know, maybe this is a good spot to be where there's not a lot of pressure. He can just fight and, uh, yeah, maybe make another run for the goal. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's going to be feeling like he's silenced a lot of critics here. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's got to be one of the best feelings in the world. Oh, and the jab just looking oh. as good and as 
on point as ever. So humble, look at that, it's good to see. You know, that is what the K1 ring is all about. Well, he's gonna be a happy man tonight. He's gonna be holding his, uh, his newborn very high, I should imagine. Yes. And we'll see what, uh, what, he, what he throws at us on the mic. え、そして今回の勝利で、え、え、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの